five minutes to do a career map. Who made up this assignment? So this is the house I was born in. Uh, unfortunately, it's no longer there. So thanks to Google Maps, uh, I still have a picture of it. Uh, this is where I grew up uh, until I was through college, actually. And my mother was an artist and, and two sisters, and they were a big influence. This is the Educational Center for the Arts at Arts High School, Honor High School, where I had a really, really great photographer that was really influential. This is Neighborhood Music School, where I learned to play clarinet and saxophone and jazz, and that was an important influence in terms of the use of sound. In high school, I worked at the Yale School of Medicine part-time um, in a Photoshop photo lab that took pictures of x-rays and so this is where I learned I took pictures of rigs I didn't do the x-rays I made slides of x-rays already were there anyways and other kinds of medical stuff and this is where I learned you know chemistry photography exposure enlarging printing dodging burning all that kind of good stuff in the good old days of silver wet uh, photography then I went to the Philadelphia College of Art. Uh, it was a, uh, it's called U Arts now, University of the Arts, as a printmaking major. And I did a lot of drawing. Um, there's a life drawing, there's a self portrait of me, circa 1975 or so. These were charcoal uh, drawings, and Conti Coran in the middle. It's a printmaking major that's a woodcut on the left, that's a lithograph in the middle, and a kind of a photo etching, hand etched plate on the right. 1980 or so, yeah, 1980, I did my first round of graduate work for an MFA, which I didn't quite complete. And it was there that I switched from printmaking to uh, multimedia, multi-image production. This is where I started my electronic art making. And I didn't finish the MFA, I almost did, but I came back to New Haven and started a small business with a couple people doing computer graphics. Uh, this was my first experience with a um, computer graphic paint box in 1983 or 4. And uh, that's when I started learning how to do video production. I started doing freelance video production using this ancient equipment on uh, three quarter inch videotape using huge recorders. You can see that little camcorder on the right compared to the video cassette recorder we used back in the uh, 19, late in the late 80s. And then I, in 1987, came back to the School of Medicine for, uh, uh, for good, for at least for 22 years, the School of Medicine at Yale and the University. Um, I did, uh, these are my first web-based um, training websites that I did. They're still being used, which I'm really proud of. A lot of the interface design is still, still topical. I worked on interactive educational projects, did the video production support and did uh, other websites. This website I really like because it still stands up today. Still, still works. I did web-based development at Yale. And I had a chance to travel to Tbilisi, Georgia in the former Soviet Union as a photographer for a youth group and took photographs like these. These were a film which I recently scanned to digital. So I'm still a photographer, will always be. Then, uh, went late 80s, went to uh, my second round of graduate work at Wesleyan University, where I did my first digital artwork, a series of prints combining my pictures, photographs with their drawings that I hand colored. I did this with a very primitive digital camera and used Photoshop and graduated there in 2000. Uh, in 1984, I started to be an adjunct professor at uh, Quinnipiac University in 1986. Right. Is that right? Or 19, no, 1994, I'm sorry, started as an adjunct professor at Quinnipiac University and later become the director of the interactive media program in 2009. So I'm working on supporting the program, uh, on supporting the work the students do. I made this portfolio site for the program. I do a Twitter feed. You can stay there on the right for the program and a Facebook page. And I also do some other work projects on the side. This is for the VA for veterans to help them figure out how to manage their money. Uh, now this, this is a video production for a web-based site for veterans. It's a picture of that in the background for veterans to figure out how to, for them to help them manage their disability claims. 
Uh, so I'm really glad I got into back into video. Um, this was green screen. I dropped this fellow onto a background with the picture of the website and using After Effects lit that backdrop. Here's where I live and I do my uh, artwork. Uh, I redid my website recently, my personal website. It's a picture of my kid uh, Noah. He's 16 now, so this is a bit old, but uh, I like this little portrait. I took this recently. It's a uh, midnight fog, actually. This is in California. Portrait of a little girl at a wedding I went to. So it brings me up to date that I do, you know, in terms of my Quinnipiac work and my own photography work and what's in the future. Well, at some point I won't be a Quinnipiac anymore, so I, I'm really going to do a lot of drawing and painting. Um, I want the, the, the more and more that I work towards in the digital realm, the more I feel like I got to do stuff that's not digital, that's just paper and charcoal and crayons and paints keep myself grounded in, in essentially what's real and tangible as opposed to everything being digital and stored and, and, and trans, transient. But I'll always be a photographer um, at my heart. And so um, I'll leave you with this uh, night portrait that I did last summer up in, uh, up in Laurentians in Canada.